Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to clone yourselves and not only that, and this idea is going to show you how to film it either on a camera or a mobile phone. So be sure to stay to the end of the video for the filming tips. Let's get straight to it. Now we've got the two clips in the timeline. It's got me on the left and shot two, me on the right. And what we're going to do essentially is draw a mask to separate these and make them one video. Now a little tip when you're shooting this ahead of time, think of a positioning like this where you've got something, an object like the corner of the wall down the center of the frame. This will help you draw the mask down here to help disguise the join and I'll show you just in a moment. So the first thing you wanna do is stack your clips on top of each other. Now you see the prominent clip is always the top clip so now we can only see me on the on the right hand side and then if we were to press V to make that disappear or ghost that out we can see me on the clip underneath. So the first thing we want to do is go over to the effects tab and search for draw. Draw mask is the mask we're going to use. There are plenty of masks but this is the one we want to use and we want to drag that into the top clip. If you go over to the film strip here on the top right, you can see your draw mask is in here and then you'll see your mouse turns into a pen tool. This image is filling the screen. So what we want to do is maybe just resize this down to here and then go say 50%. So we've got a bit of a border around the video point. I'm simply going to just start the mask down here and then go around the outside of the video and then you must hit the first one and there you can see there's two versions of me already. So if I click off the top clip onto the bottom you can then see that there is a slight line down the centre of the table. It is only very subtle but what we can do to help disguise that is feather that so it almost blurs it out. So if you go over to the inspector top clip make sure the clip with the uh, the mask is selected and then you want to feather that so you just push that up as high as you want to go and then if we click off that that's made a huge difference in disguising the mask if I play this through hey guys so today I'm going to show you how to clone yourselves and not only that and this idea is going to show you how to film it either on a camera or a mobile phone so be sure to stay to the end of the video for the filming tips Let's get straight to it. Now, as you can see, the effect is pretty simple to implement. However, like I said before, there are some things you need to keep in mind when going through the filming process. One, the camera needs to be on a tripod. Two, I would black out any natural light you can because changes in sun coming behind the clouds and out of the clouds is going to affect the lighting in the room. So for this, I blocked out the window and used my Aperture 120D light. You can use whatever light you wish, but it's important that you control that. The second part is timing. If you look at these clips individually, I'll tell you what I mean. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to clone yourselves and not only that, So be sure to stay to the end of the video for the filming tips. Let's get straight to it. As you can see, there is a point in the first clip where I'm having to stay silent to let Gav number two do the talking. So it's important you write a script to know what you're going to say to leave a big enough gap for the second clip to fill that silence. So at that point here where I'm being quiet and looking at myself that's not there, I'm playing through that part of the second clip script in my head and then I know when to start speaking again. Now with the film inside there are a few settings you need to keep in mind, be it on a big camera like a DSLR or a mirrorless camera or your mobile phone. You want to make sure that you're shooting in manual because if you're in an auto setting there may be changes in the camera settings which will change the light conditions and if we're changing the light conditions then you're going to see a noticeable join on the mask between the two shots. So I also recommend shooting in say 5.6 because if we go too wide we're going to get a shallow depth of field we may see a slight focus change between the two clips say one's slightly closer to the camera or one's further away either or and then you're going to notice that slight change so we want to have as much focus through the shot as possible when shooting this and it's as simple as that. So if you're filming on a mobile phone, it's important to lock out the exposure and the focus on the phone. Now most smartphones will have the same functionality here. I'm using an iPhone 12. 
if we were to point at the seat where I'll be sitting, hold that, you'll see at the top it's got the auto exposure and auto focus lock. So therefore, once we stick this on a tripod, we're not getting any changes in light or focus throughout the shoot. Hopefully you found this video a lot of fun. If you did, don't forget to subscribe oh. and, and um, don't forget to turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any future episodes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.